Let me ask you about um, a moment in your book that happens on January 4th. It's described in Chapter 9 of your book, and you describe listening in on a call um, in which Trump lawyers are briefing um, what we call surrogates. So it's mm. basically people are going to go on TV and talk about the pro-Trump side of things. Yeah. And on that call, Laura, Trump lawyer Jenna Ellis describes what they're envisioning for January 6th. She says, uh, the way you write it is, in the scenario Ellis described, when Pence was presiding, he could either refuse to open or refuse to count the electoral votes. So they don't necessarily know you're on this call. You're listening in. Right. It's two days before January 6th. Was that the moment when it really became clear to you in detail what they were going to try to do? Uh, yes. You know, I had heard, obviously, there had been talk about uh, we're going to have these electors meet. I think Stephen Miller had been talking about that. But it wasn't clear to me um, what the, the contours of this particular part of the plan were um, until I dialed into that phone call. And listening to them describe how these fake electors were going to be used and um, the fact that they anticipated that Vice President Pence was going to use them to refuse to count the legitimate electors was certainly a moment of, of uh, intense concern. And, and as I got off that call, I ran into the Capitol, uh, into the office of the parliamentarian of the House to say, you know, wait a minute, th this is what I'm hearing is going to happen. What do we do about it in the joint session? How do we stop this? And, um, and it was very clear that uh, there were not a lot of good answers to that because I, I knew, I learned later through the investigation that Vice President Pence and his counsel were having discussions with the Senate parliamentarian and that the Vice President, you know, ultimately, of course, did his duty bravely. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're in a joint session of Congress... You know, you're, you're not in a position where uh, there are a lot of legislative steps that you can take, uh, except to, to basically, you know, move to adjourn. Uh, so it was a very dangerous and chilling moment.